Okay guys, welcome along. I'm Daryl from Club 100 and I thought I'd just jump on this live video straight on Facebook because you know what, every single day people ask us questions and there's so many questions around fitness and nutrition. So you know what, I thought I'd jump on, do a live and give you guys a chance just to ask me anything. So, while we wait for a few people to come on live, I'll just run through what's been going on. So, just finished two uh, Evolve sessions. If you don't know, Evolve uh, program is a semi-private personal training. So basically we have small groups of four people. We take them through a full resistance program and then we go through into cardio, basically smash them up, get to burn a ton of calories, tone their full body. And if you can hear the music going on out there, maybe a little bit, that's our 30-30 class. Just about to kick off, just about to start. 30-30, if you don't already know, is our high intensity or HIIT workout, which is basically groups of 10 people, and they do 30 seconds on an exercise, 30 seconds off, on, off, on, off, for half an hour. It's high intensity, as the name suggests, and it's just come in, smash them up, really good workout, burn a ton of calories. Okay, so that's basically what's going on now. So if you can hear the music, and Sarah, Shan, and everyone, that is what is going on, okay? So why don't I wait for a few people to jump on, guys. Obviously, if you're here, jump on, ask a question, anything, anything fitness-related, nutrition-related, training-related, anything Club 100-related, any questions you got, type it in the comments, and it's your chance just to ask me anything, and I'll answer them, okay? Just while I wait for a few more people to come on board, I asked a few questions in our group earlier on, in our Facebook group, and basically just got a few, um, few questions. Actually, they're quite varied, which is good. So what I thought was I'll go through them, answer them, because there obviously there might be similar questions to what you guys may be already thinking about. So, uh, Jo asked that, well she basically said she wanted to tone her fires and what's the best exercise for this? Now this is a question we get all the time. Um, a lot of people come to us and they sit in this room and they say, I want to tone here, I want to tone here, I want to tone different places in their body. Now what? Joe's actually asking is she's asking about spot reducing. Now, spot reducing basically means that doing a specific exercise to tone a different part of the body or a specific part of the body. So what that means is, for example, if someone wants to tone their thighs, like Joe said there, then people might go on to an exercise where they work their thighs. Now this is actually a misconception. Basically, the best way to turn, tone a certain place or a different part of the body a various part of the body is to work the full body in terms of doing resistance, which is weights, follow the right nutrition plan, obviously for that person's individual goals, and work at a high intensity. And the reason being is because if you think about it this way, say you've got a muscle here, so that's a thigh muscle, that's Joe's thigh muscle for example, now you've got varying levels of body fat obviously on top of that muscle. Now if you're working that muscle, that's going to have, obviously have an impact on that muscle. You might obviously increase muscle tone and increase muscle size and obviously become leaner, but at the same time, you might not actually affect the body fat in front of that muscle. So if you want to actually tone your fibers or tone a different place in the body, you need to work your full body, you need to use resistance, you need to use weights, and like I say, you need to obviously have the right diet. I've actually got a question here about nutrition, so I'll cover the diet in a second. And that is the best way to tone a different or tone a specific place in the body, okay? Whether that's hips or arms or fires, like Joe said. So to answer your question, Joe, she said if she wants to tone her fires, what's the best exercise for this? The best exercise is full body, obviously, including lower body, so squats and lunges and deadlifts, exercise like that, but full body, high intensity, and the right nutrition plan. Okay? So I hope that makes sense, Joe. Um, another question I had in was from Jane. And Jane said, what's the best exercise for weight loss? Uh, sorry, the best breakfast weight loss for weight loss. Now again, this is a really common question, guys. And most people, I'd say probably 80% of the population, actually probably have cereal for breakfast or maybe even bread or even nothing for breakfast. Now, this is probably one of the worst things you can have for breakfast to lose body fat or for weight loss. The best thing, the number one thing to have for breakfast is to have a high protein, and a high fat, obviously good fat breakfast. Now a good example of this would be a steak, lean cut steak, and a handful of nuts and seeds. Now most people will probably hear me say that and go, that's crazy, why would you have meat for breakfast? But it's actually the best thing you can have. 
Now I've explained a bit more. The reason reason for for that is when you have things like cereal or even toast or other grains for breakfast, that gives you a blood sugar spike really high, and it comes down really quick, and it leaves you feeling hungry after within like sometimes twenty minutes. And if you keep doing that, and if you keep having grains throughout the day, you can have obviously most people have sandwiches for lunch or pasta for dinner as well. If you keep having that, you keep having that insulin spike up and down, up and down. That causes your body to become insulin resistant, which then means, without going into the science, it means you're more likely to store body fat. The best thing to do is to have not too many grains, and to actually have a high protein breakfast, like I say, such as steak or, or eggs or anything which is protein, and then healthy fats such as nuts and seeds. It's gonna keep you fuller for longer. It's actually gonna mean you burn more calories at rest as well, which is obviously what it's all about, especially if you're looking to lose weight. You're going to feel better, you're going to have better energy levels, and actually you're going to have uh, more energy throughout the day as well, and for longer, which again, what it's, what it's all about, okay? So, Jane, I hope that answers your question. Obviously, she asked what the best breakfast for weight loss is, okay? Guys, if you obviously got any questions, if you're watching, then write them in the comments, and obviously I'll answer them as we're going along, okay? So... Um, another question we've got here was David said my legs are killing me after the gym how long should I leave it between workouts well <laughs> David that's obviously a good thing your legs are killing you it means you're working hard on that point actually guys if you're you are aching it means you're working hard but it doesn't mean you should always ache after training okay so just think about that for a second if you're working hard you're aching but you're not gonna always ache but David's question was that his legs are killing him, how long should he, leave it, should he leave it between workouts? Well, obviously there's a few points on that question. It depends on obviously David's fitness level. If he's just starting out, he might ache because his body's not used to it. Or he might be aching because he's using a lot more weight or a different exercise than his body's used to. Now, what I'll advise for someone that's maybe been going to the gym and maybe a beginner is never maybe do the same workout or similar workout twice in a row. So you never want to do like legs on a Monday and then legs again on a Tuesday. You want to give it at least a day's rest in between, maybe two, maybe three, depending on that person's fitness level, depending on obviously what that person wants to get out of it. Now, obviously we do full body training here, we do upper body, we do lower body, it depends on people's goals. That's why a lot of our workouts are specific to individual goals. Another thing that David can do to obviously stop his legs aching is not to just sit around is to actually keep moving. Whether that's going out for a walk or doing a bit of cardio, stretching is good as well, hydration, so drinking a lot of water, keep them hydrated. Obviously the reason why we ache by the way guys is obviously when we lift weights or we do a hard workout, on like a microscopic level, our muscle fibers tear, which is a good thing because when they renew after a few days, then they renew stronger and that's how we become stronger and leaner but it doesn't mean that you should do the same workout, a really hard workout every single day. It means that you should actually be taking your time off in between workouts, and if you want to, if you want to go to the gym twice in a row, you can do lower body one day, upper body another day, or maybe a cardio workout. So again, to answer your question, David, your legs are killing you, which is good. I would leave it two to three days before doing another leg workout, but obviously see how you feel. If you can't walk for three or four days, then obviously you want to make sure like say do some stretching, do some cardio, do some foam rolling, and then obviously see how you get on and go from there. If your legs are aching because you're in pain or you're injured and obviously you don't want to go down that route again, potentially see a physio, obviously have a word with us and obviously look at changing the training. But if it's just muscle ache, then take a few days off, hydrate, stretch, foam roll, like I say, you should be okay to obviously go back and do some lower body work two, three, maybe four days afterwards, okay? So I hope that will answer your question, David. So, guys, if you're watching, if you've got any more questions, obviously just let me know. Just write them in the comments below, and I will obviously do my best to answer them. So, another question we had in was from Lindsay, who said that, are carbs really that bad for you? <laughs> so, in 2018, everyone, or most people, knows what a carb is. I'm doing a carb like that, because obviously not all carbs are bad, but I'll explain that more in a second. Um, I would say that it's kind of the media at the moment, a kind of low carb or no carb diet. People were talking about carbs and think that cutting out all carbs is the best way to go. What you need to think about is obviously first and foremost what a carb is. I mean carb, carbohydrate. Now we classify carb carbohydrates as fruits, obviously, which is good for you. 
So vegetables, which are good for you, but obviously at the same time, you've got grains in there as well. So grains, you're looking at bread, pasta, rice, potatoes, cereals. They're the five main grains that we actually avoid because as I explained earlier, when I was talking about breakfast, the best thing to do is for most people, not everyone, but most people could benefit from not having too many grains in their diet. So if you cut out or at least decrease rice, pasta, bread, potatoes, cereals, then most people benefit from losing body fat, having more energy, sleeping better, and just feeling better for it. Not as bloated as well. A lot of people feel bloated when actually they have too many carbs in the diet, or grains, should I say. So, but actually, 90% of the population out there probably eat too many grains. So the best thing to do is to, for most people is to cut out or cut down the grains, replace it with protein, obviously healthy food, we don't want any processed food in our diet, obviously, and then most people will feel better for it. So, Lindsay, to ask you a question, not all carbs are bad, but some are. So, if by carbs you mean grains, then yes, some can be bad for you. So, I'd recommend decreasing carbohydrates or grains, and then obviously increasing with protein. Okay, so hopefully that answers your question. Um, <laughs> Barry asks, how can I get rid of my man boobs? <laughs> This is something where actually a lot of people have asked us, a lot of people do ask us, and there's a few reasons why guys might say they have man boobs, obviously it's, uh, I mean it's referred to as man boobs, with, uh, like Gary's saying here, but what I would say is obviously there's a few reasons for this. Um, the scientific reason is some people, and not everyone, but some people, some guys might have a higher level of estrogen in their body, so obviously everyone's got estrogen and testosterone, um, if they have a low level of testosterone and a high level of estrogen, then sometimes that can cause body fat to be stored around the chest and obviously other areas in the body on guys. Now, if Barry's obviously asked a question, if, Barry, if that's an issue with Barry, then obviously you can do a few things to address that, and diet is obviously one of them. Um, decreasing alcohol is obviously a big one. Obviously, a lot of guys, people talk about the beer belly, but obviously that can affect man boobs, as, Gary, uh, as Barry says. So that's one of the big things to, to cut down there. Obviously other things which obviously could affect that as well is, like I say, diets. I mean, just talked a long time about um, grains there. Grains could obviously increase body fat. So that can store around the full body and some people will store it just in the chest. Obviously some guys will store it there. So addressing diet, addressing lifestyle. Stress is a big one as well. So obviously if people cut down the stress, it's very easy just to say, don't be stressed, but if, for example, work is stressing someone out or they're not sleeping because they're stressed and vice versa. That can have effects on the body, a negative effects on the body. So that's something to look at. So maybe meditation or breathing techniques or going for walks or actually just addressing the reason why they've got stress can actually have a positive effect on the body. And obviously exercise as well. Now a lot of people will tell you that or a lot of people may think that if they've got Body store, it's body fat storing on their chest for the guys, and obviously doing press ups or do, going to the gym and doing a load of chest work would help. Yeah, and obviously this can help, but at the same time, if it's not addressing the issue, diet or, or obviously stress or any other issues that might be causing the body fat to be stored in, on the around the chest region, then obviously it's not going to just do it. So, a combination of exercise and the right exercise, nutrition and the right nutrition, hydration, cutting out. Drinking, I mentioned, smoking as well, anything else that will cause stress on the body, getting enough sleep, it's all the things that everyone knows, but actually a combination of these things can help. Barry's asked the question, can help Barry obviously get rid of his man boobs, as he says. Um, another thing as well, obviously, not everyone, but some people, some guys might be affected by obviously having too much estrogen in the body, like I said earlier, so that can obviously go to the doctors if that is an issue, and they can obviously address that with the hormones bring estrogen down, down, bring testosterone up. There's a lot of things that people can do before they get to that level. Okay, so hopefully Barry, hopefully that makes sense and obviously you can put some of them things into play and then you can see feel leaner and feel better about yourself, which is obviously what it's all about. So guys, if anyone has any questions, obviously write them in the comments, I'll answer them. Um, and then obviously, if obviously someone else might have that, have, um, a similar question, so therefore not only answer it for yourself, but for other people as well. Okay? Not any current questions at the moment, so what I'll do is I'll take the camera outside and show you some of the 30 30 session going on. Let's have a little look, shall we?
So we're obviously in their 30 second rest in the moment. <laughs> So as I said earlier, it's 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. There we go, so it's 30 seconds on. So it just so happened I walked out there when I was in their rest period. But as I said at the start, obviously that's our 30 30 session going on. So there is normally um, it's up to 10 people in that class, so we keep it quite light so it's not like a big boot camp. And like I say, it's warm up at the start, cool down at the end, but the main bulk of it is 30 minutes of work of 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. And the program changes each week. So today, as you probably saw, they're doing a combination of full body, high intensity, and body weight. So for that 30 second period, they'll go around in the circuit and they'll basically just work as hard as they can for 30 seconds and then rest for 30 seconds. And then they'll do three rounds of that of the 10 exercises for the 30 minutes. Like I said at the start, it allows them to just burn a ton of calories in a short amount of time, which is obviously what HIIT training is all about. And then get in, do the workout, get out and then move on. And that's what it's all about. Guys, shouldn't spend an hour training each day unless you train for an endurance event. So, on that point, obviously a few people do ask us questions about what's the best exercise to tone a different part of the body, which I obviously spoke about earlier on, or what's the best exercise to burn most amount of calories. Now, if you know what we do, you'll and obviously if you've seen this before and or you're, you're trained down here, you'll know we're all about high intensity interval training or HIIT training. So this is what it's all about to burn more calories or a lot of calories during the session, but more calories afterwards. It has, it has a, a metabolic effect on the body, which like I say, it allows you to burn calories during and afterwards. Whereas if you went out for a steady state run, for example, you can run for 45 minutes, obviously you're gonna burn calories during, but it's not necessarily gonna be burning calories afterwards. Certainly better than sitting on the sofa, but it's not as good as doing a high intensity HIIT workout, whether that's with body weight, cardio, or resistance, or full body work, like you saw going on out there and that will allow you to then burn a ton of calories, tone your full body, and improve your fitness in a short amount of time, which obviously is what it's all about. No one's got hours to spend in the gym, so get in, work as hard as you can, get out. And that's what it's all about. So guys, obviously there's no more questions. I can't even have a look, no more questions there. So what I'll do now is I'll wrap this up, but what we're gonna try and do is we'll try and every now and again, maybe every couple of weeks, um, I'm going to call him out, Mark Newton, you're watching, so you've got to do the next one. So every couple of weeks we're going to try and do a little Facebook Live like this, whether it's 10, 15 minutes, just give you guys a chance to kind of like log in, watch us and ask us any questions or before, like these guys have done, ask us questions beforehand so we can answer them and not only help that individual person but help everyone else because I guarantee if someone's asking us a question, someone else has thought about that and that can obviously help you. With your fitness journey, obviously everyone's different, everyone's got different goals, different different abilities and obviously different starting points, but at the same time, we're here, we want to help everyone. So if you have questions, or if you have questions after this, write it on the video, comment on the video, and obviously we'll get back to you after the video. Or if you're a member, you'll be in the accountability group, on the Facebook group, so obviously write it in there, and obviously we can answer any questions you've got. Okay guys, but in the meantime, train hard, eat well, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.